Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look using this Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette. If you'd like to see how I use these colors to create this eye look, stay tuned. Alright ladies, I've used this palette and I absolutely love it. You'll see throughout the video that I have had no trouble applying this eye look. I It went on nice, it didn't skip, it blended well. Although the browns kind of look very similar in the palette, which is what I was afraid of, when I actually went to use them, they look completely different. And again, in the video, you'll get to see um, what those two look like. So I make sure that you can see the difference on that. Um, this palette I do like. It's small and tiny. However, um, they didn't have enough. Like I use the blush for my transition colors because these were too dark. So this isn't a palette you can just take and go with you. You're going to need extra colors. But for the colors that are in here, you have a really nice uh, brown neutral eye. In fact, even though it says it's a, the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette, I actually think these colors would be fantastic for Thanksgiving. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great one. Okay, so I've prepped, primed my face. I added some Painterly Paint Pop to my eyelids, and now we are going to get started with this cute little Too Faced palette called Gingerbread Cookie. So let's go! Alright, so we have some really pretty colors in this one, and as you can see, I've already used it, and I kind of like it. There is a lot of browns in this palette. So be prepared that if you're only taking this palette with you, you're going to be limited in choices. Um, but with this eye look, we are going to start out with the ginger cream all along the eyelid. We're going to blend, use that as our base to blend off of. We've got that base going. I'm actually going to use the gingerbread as my transition color, so I'm dotting that. And this palette smells really good. So even though this says gingerbread with, um, this is the month of November, and this actually, this palette would look great for Thanksgiving. Look how pretty this gingerbread goes on. So yes, you can use the gingerbread as a blush, but as a nice transition color, it's doing a great job. It's going on nice and so far blending nice. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so now we've got our transition color on. Maple Syrup and Cup of Joe are very, very similar to me, but I'm going to get a little bit finer tip brush. We're going to go into the crease. This is a dome crease brush. We're going to try to start out with the Maple Syrup since it's slightly lighter than Cup of Joe. slightly into the crease. Looks like we have a little bit of fallout. Not a lot. With the dark color that could always be not fun. So we'll see how it cleans up. Okay, so the Cup of Joe looks darker in the palette but is actually going on kind of light. We're going to step it up and we're going to go ahead and try, I'm sorry, what I was using was maple syrup, not Cup of Joe. Now we're going to use Cup of Joe. And since we're speaking of Cup of Joe, I better go in for some. Looks like it's going to be one of those mornings. Alright, so Cup of Joe it is this time because we were using maple syrup. Alright. So in the pan they look similar in color, but now that 
I'm using the Cup of Joe, which I haven't blended, but you can see there is a difference when it actually goes on the skin. And just by that initial first look, I didn't think that was going to happen. All right, so I'm going to use just another clean brush to blend. And on these outer V's or outer crease, I always like to use um, a nice darker color and use circular motions. That helps me not get my browns or my dark colors everywhere. And then I'll use the windshield wiper motions as I'm trying to blend it up. But initially, um, I'll just do the little circular motions here so that the dark colors don't just start spreading. I was going to say spread like kudzu, but most of you guys don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the gingerbread and just make sure we've got these lines soften. For the lid, I'm going to take a flat brush of some sort. And this ginger snap, oh, look how pretty. We're going to use some ginger snap. Okay, so I'm going to use Ginger Snap along the bottom. Alright, with a angle brush we're going to pick up some black coffee and use that as our eyeliner. With another, with another little fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with the sugar cream again and just highlight that inner corner. And put a little bit more on the brow bone. We're going to use some Makeup Geek Immortal for my eyeliner on top. Time for false eyelashes. I want to say thank you so much for joining me using this Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette creating this eye look. If you have not subscribed to my channel, hurry up, subscribe, the button's below. If you have subscribed, please consider referring me to a friend, and as always, make it a beautiful day.